What are we going to do? I have a tattoo. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. Hey guys, we are going to Karma down at the beach to get our henna tattoos done today. I'm really excited for you guys to meet my friend Amanda. We're gonna go in here and see what she's got to offer. Good, how are you? Good. This is my friend Diana. Hi Diana. And this is my children, Riley and Sawyer. Hi Riley, hi Sawyer. So we have been online looking at all of your previous work. Yes. And so I think they have some ideas of what they want. Okay. okay. Well guys, I am a professional freestyle lizard and a turtle. Ooh. What do you want, Diana? There's so many choices. I know. Um, are you sure? It's like a beat singing over and over and over again. So, do you need something for the blood? Do you need something to be okay? I don't know. It's kind of like the one that we had in the carnival. It is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So Not real tattoos, Riley. Just joking. plant that has natural dyes in it, and what we do is we take the plant and we crush it up into a powder form, and then we add eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, and we make it into this paste. Um, and it's been around at least since the Egyptian age, and to believe it or not, they used to use it as makeup. Um, so it's the first known makeup that anyone's ever put on. Um, I've been doing henna for about, I'd say, 12, 11, 12 years. And I started because I loved art. Um, henna is like an Indian tradition, so a lot of people do it for their weddings in India. Um, so I've been doing those for about eight years old. That's awesome, yeah? Yeah. You like it so far? Isn't it so cool? Isn't this way better than a guitar? Yeah. So how long have you been in this shop? Um, so I've had Karma for about three years. So I'm going on my third year, and I actually won Best in Virginia Beach of 2018. Good for you. For a specialty shop. But I've been doing henna at the oceanfront for about eight years total. I used to actually rent a table outside of someone's store. Uh -huh. And I started my sophomore year of college. Um, and before I graduated, I actually owned my own business. Um, just through hard work, dedication, and being good at what you do. Good for you. Um, That's amazing. About, yeah. Me, doing something that you love means more than getting paid a million dollars. There you go, beautiful. No, oh, do you love, love it? it? Okay, Riley, girl, hold it out. Let me see it. So cute. So cool. Just keep it down. Okay? So how long does it take to dry? So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry, and then in about one hour, it's going to crack and fall off. Um, the objective is to not pick at it, let it fall off by itself, because the way that henna works, it's accentuated through heat. So the longer it sits on your skin, the longer it's going to 
day and the darker it's going to be. Whatever, I don't. I probably can't get all those little fish. No, I don't want that. It's like, you want the, the Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. But do you want the Hamsa also? Or I just? want the Hamsa also. Okay. And then whatever designs and cool stuff you want to put I, everywhere else. So I'm going to have. I'm excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you so excited about your pineapple? Oh, yeah. uh -huh. They have their thing. Little talent. <laughs> said, like, train people to work out. That's a very good skill. That most people would love to have. Oh, I love the top. That's pretty. Nice. So good. So this is my third henna tattoo, and I think they are so much fun. I love them. Um, so last summer, we went to the Bahamas, and I got one done in the Bahamas, and it was awesome. And it lasted for over a week, basically until I got in the pool. And then um, Riley and I got one done um, about a month or so ago just for fun, like at a carnival. And so it gave me the idea that I thought you guys would really love to see this adventure just because... It is something fun to do, and it also can have a purpose, you know, if you're trying to get a permanent tattoo and you want to check it out and see if it's something that you really want. So that's why I decided to do this adventure today. That's awesome! everything was all about owls mm -hmm. and now everything is about pineapples like mm -hmm. I love pineapples and I have but right now they're really popular right. so that's the thing like and you know like you're yes, let's see it. Oh! thank that's you gorgeous. so much it's awesome Ooh, pretty very So is this the only color that it comes in? Henna is naturally this color. Okay, so um, only if you're using the real stuff. Right. Because I've seen people use black and brown, so that stuff's not real. Well, this is a brownish color. It's a brownish reddish color. Um, it depends on the... If it's really old, sorry. If you're really old henna, it'll be more brownish. If okay. it's really fresh henna, um, I get mine imported from India and Morocco, and I mix it together, and it'll be a reddish color. Okay. So it, it, if you see it, and it comes like an orangeish, brownish color, that just means it's really old henna, oh, okay. but it's still natural henna. If you get a black henna, there's no such thing as natural black henna. It has extra ingredients added okay. to it um, to make it black, yeah. which in some cases can be really unsafe for your skin. So it's always, like I advise people, to ask the, you know whoever's doing your henna what kind of henna it's made out of okay. because if it's not natural henna sometimes there's hair dye in it it can cause permanent scarring and damage oh, to wow. your skin so that's why it's so important for me to let people know we use an organic henna right um but yeah oh my goodness it is so pretty Hey, this is Dr. Amanda. She is down here at Virginia Beach on 16th Street at Karma. She has been here for a really long time, and obviously she is an amazing artist. So if you guys are in the area, then you can come definitely down here and visit her to get your henna tattoo. Come check me out. Bye, guys. You can follow me at Karma Morano on Instagram. Yay!